guys, I have news. KFC made a gaming console and it's great. Yes, you lot heard me correct. KFC, the fast food monopoly, has made a gaming console which not only runs virtually every game out at the moment at 240 FPS at 4K, it also fries chicken. So as many of you may know or may not know, KFC has a gaming channel called KFC Gaming where it posts gaming content like COD and 1v1s and it's pretty general stuff. But around six hours ago, they released a video called KF Console, Power Your Hunger. And honestly, I'm still completely baffled. If you don't understand it i'll play a snippet there's a reason mankind didn't peak with the discovery of fire or the invention of the wheel it's a feeling inside all of us that compels us to go further reach higher and dream of ways to achieve the unachievable when the odds are stacked against us and it seems like the entire world wants to tell us no that's not possible surely that can't be done and we look up to the stars and say, just watch me. Because we know that rules are made to be broken. We know that dreams are made to be followed. That the impossible is made to be possible. And that gaming consoles are made to evolve. Welcome to the next level in gaming innovation. The KF Console. So now you've seen it, the, it's just a hilarious trailer. And this isn't actually new news. It, like, the first trailer was released, like, half a year ago. But then they put the release date as the 11th of December 2020. So around this time. And they have kept developing the product, which is good to see, I guess. They haven't released it yet. But, well, it's worth the wait. And it's definitely worth it when you look at the specs. This entire thing is a collaboration with four other companies. The main one being Cooler Master, but there are other companies involved such as Intel, Asus, and Seagate. In the video description, they have left the link to Cooler Master's website, and I'm just going to read some of the specs here. So this machine is packing an Intel i9 9th generation NUC chip, a hot swappable mini GPU by Asus, and a 2 one terabyte NVMe SSD by Seagate. This thing is an absolute monster, not to forget the chicken chamber included inside, which you can put fried chicken in and it stays warm. This thing runs AAA games at 240 FPS at 4K and is VR ready with ray tracing. Like, this thing can definitely run Crisis, it can run Cyberpunk. Did I mention the GPU's hot swappable? Look at the blueprint, this thing is a beauty. Okay, I actually have to stop yelling. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I do not want my neighbours to hear me. But being completely serious, this does two things which I think are great. Number one, it shows that businesses, if they have the money, can branch out into other industries and create amazing products, whether they remain concept products like Google Lens or Google Car or go on to be fully retailable products like the Razor Toaster or possibly the KF console. I think many businesses could make a lot of money bringing these products to the market and yeah it'll just be great overall for everyone number two it shows that playstation and xbox really need to up their game here if i was the best console manufacturer in the world for over 20 years and this food company comes out with a product that they promise can run games at 240 fps at 4k while yours can barely maintain a stable 30 and the parts are hot swappable too i'd be embarrassed like if a food company can do these things why can't playstation why can't xbox why can't nintendo it really shows you that they could do so much more and actually bring a good console to the table excuse the pun but honestly though this thing is hilarious it's shaped like a bucket what's not to like i've thought of three things however that might not be necessarily great about the console here they are number one the price if the ps5 costs something like 400 dollars well here it's like 400 pounds and can't run these games at the levels that the kf console can imagine the price tag on this baby i'm not sure if it's going to be like a luxury item or something but it will sure be expensive number two the chicken chamber now this sounds like a great idea when you first hear about it but if you look into the website it says this 
it heats the chicken by using the system's in natural heating and airflow system. Now, this may not sound like a problem at first, but just imagine this. The air with all the dust in your console, like all the dead skin flakes in the fans and stuff will go into your chicken, which you are going to eat because that is your food. Now, I don't know, but KFC is going to have to show me some health and safety regulation certificate on this console if I'm going to put my chicken in there because I do not want my original recipe pieces tasting of dead feet skin. Also, how are you going to clean it? And what if you forget there's like a piece of chicken in there? Just you open it two days later and there's just a moldy green thing inside your gaming console. It's going to be gross. Number three, the grease. Now, if you're a gamer, you definitely know this problem. When you eat fried chicken or greasy food with your hand and then you touch the controller or keyboard and just ill, bro. It's just grease everywhere and you can't grip anything. I'm not sure that this is a good idea, but nonetheless, this is a great concept. And if KFC does refine it and brings it to the market, it, then it will actually be a great product and i might even debate buying one who knows well that's me guys hope you have a good day and i will see you lot tomorrow don't forget to like subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see ya